I'm gonna show you guys two different ways that I fry up crappie and it's just classic fried fish but I'm gonna show you something that I do that's probably a little bit different that makes this fish just taste amazing just get outside and do something awesome all right guys, so in another video I did make crappie tacos, but this is just going to be two different basic ways you can make fried crappie. And I do feel like I do one thing that's a little bit different than most people. And I really feel like it has a really good effect on the way that the fish tastes, especially if you have somebody that's a picky eater. Uh, my kids are pretty picky and even they ate some of this fish when I made it this way. All right guys, so I don't have a ton of fish. This is just enough for like one meal for me, um, but we'll get that out of the way. So I got an egg here and the egg and the milk is gonna be to make um, what you're gonna dip the fish in before you bread it. So I'll go ahead and do that. A little bit of milk. I don't use an exact science when I do this. It's just kinda, I kinda get a feel for it. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna get a paper towel here and put my fish on it. I'm gonna get them out of here. Just always make sure that before you do all this that you do wash your hands really well, um, especially if you've been out in public with all the sickness and corona and all that crap going around. Um, but I got a couple pieces of fish here. Nothing too crazy, but enough for a meal for me. So I'm gonna show you two different ways that I make this. One is gonna be pretty plain but the second one is actually gonna be my favorite and I do feel like I do something a little bit different. Um, but I've got this just plastic or paper plate here um, and that's just to keep everything clean. It makes it easier to clean up because I can just throw this sucker away when I'm done. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of, that's just yellow cornmeal on there. Classic thing. Now I do like to add a little bit of hot sauce like that gives it a little bit of extra flavor and you'll see a lot of people that do that so it's got some color to it so I'm gonna take my first piece of fish this little guy here and we're just gonna dip it down in there get that covered and then we're gonna put it in the cornmeal I like to really make sure I got it really good and then we'll just kind of set that one to the side so that's a pretty classic way that most people bread their fish and I'll fry it here in just a minute. But I wanted to show you is something I do a little bit different. I do like, if you've seen my other videos or follow my Instagram, I love this seasoning. It's like delicious on anything. I've tried it on hard boiled eggs and everything. It's just really good. But like what I like to do is I like to apply some of this to the fish first. So I put that on the fish first, and then I'm gonna quickly dip it in here. And you got all that seasoning that's like right up against the fish. And what I feel like that does is when you fry it, it makes the flavor go into the fish. Whereas like you'll see a lot of people that'll either make it like I did before with just the hot sauce and stuff, or you'll see people that add, well, you know, would add the seasoning here but I feel like by putting it directly on the fish and then doing those steps like it infuses that flavor down in the fish and that's like my absolute favorite way to cook these fish and like I said before even my kids enjoyed it so that's saying something because if your kids are like mine they could probably live off hot dogs and chicken nuggies. I got all my pieces of fish that are prepared. I can go ahead and put this cornmeal up and put all my other stuff up and get ready to fry this fish. All right guys, so I got my oil heating up here. I always use peanut oil whenever I'm frying stuff. It's the best. It's the best. All right guys, so I got my oil heating up here. Um, I'm gonna take a little piece of just, there's a little bit of wet cornmeal and I threw it in there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna watch that, see for when it really starts going. Um, if you have a really good uh, food thermometer, you can stick that in there. You wanna get it up to about 350, 360 degrees and then you throw your fish in there. But I just do it this way. I've only got a few pieces of fish to cook. So you can see there, got my oil really going now. So you can see that stuff's really 
really frying. So I'm gonna give it just about one more minute and then I'm gonna start adding my fish in there. All right, so I feel like it should be hot enough now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my fish in there. There we go. All right, so I got all my fish in there. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this plate. All right guys, so that's almost done. It's really frying up good. So I went ahead and got my plate ready right here. Let's put some paper towels on there just to get rid of the excess oil that's gonna be on the fish when it comes out. There's one. So I'm gonna let that sit there for a second and I'm gonna move this hot oil back. What I'm doing is just letting some of that excess oil get off this fish here and I'm not doing anything too crazy as far as my meal goes tonight I'm just gonna do some mac and cheese a little bit of vegetables should be good to go all right I'm gonna get my vegetables I'm gonna get my vegetables out that's the microwave going off all right guys so I got everything done here just got my mac and cheese I got my fried fish here so I'm really excited about eating this um give this a try if you've never tried putting like and even if you don't want to try to use slap your mama or whatever you can try something else but i find that putting it directly on the fish and then running it through um, that other process it puts that seasoning right up against the fish and when you cook it it infuses that flavor down in the fish and it's really good so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today as always guys don't forget get outside do something awesome take somebody with you if you get a chance maybe bring something home and cook it and eat it